So a highlight of our sale is this very beautiful portrait of Marie Therese from 1934. And it's painted in this wonderful, rich coloration, an amazing palette with a thick, vibrant, electric choice of color. The contrast is quite fabulous between the blondes, the yellow, and the purple mauves of her skin tone. It's set within this sort of rather wonderful juxtaposition of the red and the green at the top and the bottom of the composition. And the red, presumably the stripy beach tent. So the paintings from the early 30s in which Marie-Thérèse stars, the golden muse of Picasso, his mistress, his lover, his inspiration, these really form such an important body of Picasso's work. Uh, they are instantly recognisable by their joy, their sensuality, their pure pleasure. Here in this painting that is all encapsulated in a most incredibly uh, exuberant way. The arabesques of her sleeping form, a form almost like one line curving from her forehead down into the nose towards the sensual lips. And that kind of beautiful somnolent form is balanced against what's almost like a cubist element in the composition, the stripy tent and the very strong linear element that the background brings. Additionally, of course, this was very much at the height of Picasso's surrealist period. That kind of surrealist element is quite strong here, not just in the composition, but also in the subject. He depicts Marie-Thérèse asleep, dreaming, and he is dreaming of Marie-Thérèse. This painting is coming to auction from the David Lloyd Krieger Foundation, and it was acquired by Carmen and David Lloyd Krieger nearly 60 years ago, in 1962. It's in wonderful fresh condition with a fabulous thick, rich and pasto, vibrant palette and it's such an iconic example of Picasso's great works from the 1930s.